Hello, I'm Brittany Kiefer. I'm the corporate reporter at PR Week, and I'm here at our PR Week conference with Sean Connolly. He's the CEO of Hillshire Brands. So, Sean, welcome. Thanks for being Glad here. Glad to be here, Brittany. You just got off stage from your great keynote, and it was fun. I was really interested to hear about how, when you took over as CEO in January, you reorganized the reporting structure so that the CCO would report to you. Can you talk a little more about why you did that? Well, it's a big year of change for us at our company, clearly. We are a new company, we're just getting started, and we have a tremendous amount to communicate, both internally as well as externally. And in the old days, uh, the communications department reported into the HR department. I felt the need to have real proximity between communications and myself, given how important I think communications is to helping our company get off to a fast start. Mm -hmm. That's great. So when you rolled out the new name of your com company, Hillshire Brands, how did you do that? You talked a little bit about how you went to the employees first, which is interesting. Well, there was tremendous interest in, in what was the new name going to be. It was a big secret. We hadn't talked about it. Uh, we had interest from our investors. We certainly had a ton of interest from our employees. And we made the decision to wait until our big investor day where we were going to debut for our investors our whole company game plan, our strategy, and the name of the company. Mm -hmm. But we thought it was important for us to inspire trust with our employees that we gave them a sneak peek of what the name would be in advance of giving it to our investor base. So what we did is right before we went on stage at Investor Day, uh, we ran a video and we had a webcast with our employees back at World Headquarters to debut the name. It wasn't risk, pr risk proof. We knew there was always a chance somebody could tweet what the name was right. out there, but we felt it was critical to establishing trust with our employees to say, hey, we're going to tell you before we tell our investors. And we did it and it worked brilliantly. And so then after you rolled out the name to the employees and then introduced it to investors, what results did you see? How did people react to, especially that investor day, because I haven't heard a lot about events like that for investors. Well, there are often investor meetings and investor day. Typically you see a meeting that runs an hour or two. Mm -hmm. Our meeting was literally a full day. And what we did is we immersed our investors in our entire company story, the good, the bad, the ugly, the new name, our aspirations for innovation, et cetera. And it was a smashing success. And we did get a lot of feedback that it was quite atypical that companies typically don't invest that much time communicating the real thesis for why they think they can create shareholder value. Mm -hmm. We then went back to our headquarters the following day and we literally reenacted the entire investor day for our employee base. So we gave them a chance to see all the rationale for why we are confident that our new company will be so successful and it worked really well. And you mentioned in your speech there was a survey you guys had done of, was it investors? There was a survey before I joined the company that we did with investors to see how investors were feeling about the strategy of the new emerging company mm -hmm. as well as the management team and suffice it to say the scores were pretty low. We reran the exact same survey just after investor day and the scores had literally more than doubled so we made tremendous progress on the key measures uh, and we were very pleased that we could see after investor day we had such a positive impact because of our effective communications. Great, well great stuff. Thank you again for being thanks here. For, thanks for having me. Enjoyed it. Thanks.